the Chieftain FB-4201 was the main battle tank of the United Kingdom during the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s. It was one of the most advanced tanks of its era, and at the time of its introduction in 1966 had the most powerful main gun and most effective armor of any tank in the world. The Chieftain also introduced a supine driver position, enabling a heavily sloped hull with reduced height. It remained in service until replaced with the Challenger 1. Development The Chieftain was an evolutionary development of the successful cruiser line of tanks that had emerged at the end of the Second World War. British engineers had learned during the war that their tanks often lacked sufficient protection and firepower compared to those fielded by the enemy, and that this had led to high casualty levels when faced with the superior German tanks in World War II. Centurion addressed this to a great degree combining higher levels of armor and an improved gun, which made it at least equal to any of the contemporary medium tanks. However, the introduction of the Soviet S-3 heavy tank forced the introduction of their own Conqueror heavy tank, armed with a 120-arm gun. A single design combining the firepower of the Conqueror's 120-arm gun with the mobility and general usefulness of the Centurion would be ideal. Leyland, who had been involved in Centurion, had built their own prototypes of a new tank design in 1956, and these led to a war office specification for a new tank. The general staff specification drew on experience of Centurion in the Korean War and Conqueror. The tank was expected to be able to engage the enemy at long range and from defensive positions, be proof against medium artillery. To this end the gun was to have a greater angle of depression than the eight degrees of Conqueror and better frontal armor. The tank was expected to achieve 10 rounds per minute in the first minute and 6 per minute for the following fall. The first few prototypes were provided for troop trials from 1959, this identified a number of changes. Changes to address engine vibration and cooling resulted in redesign of the rear hull. This increased the design weight to nearly 50 tons and as such the suspension was strengthened. Track pads had to be fitted to protect roads from damage and the ground clearance increased. The design was accepted in the early 1960s. Britain and Israel had collaborated on the development in its latter stages with a view to Israel purchasing and domestically producing the vehicle. Two prototypes were delivered as part of a four-year trial. It was eventually decided not to sell the mark to the Israelis however which prompted Israel to follow its own development program. In 1957 NATO had specified that its forces should use multi-fuel engines. The early BL engine delivered around 450 a bhp to the sprocket which meant a top road speed of around 25 a mile per hour and cross-country performance was limited. This was further hampered by the Horstmann coil spring suspension, which made it a challenge to drive cross-country and provide the crew with a comfortable ride. Due to the cylinder linings being pressure-fitted, Coolant leaks within the cylinder block were common, resulting in white smoke billowing from the exhaust. In the late 1970s engine design changed with the introduction of Blazona which was used to improve the lining seals. Engine output also increased with later engines delivering some 850 a bhp to the sprocket. This meant better performance and an increased speed. Cross-country performance remained limited, however. Several aspects of Chieftain design were trialed by the production of the FB-4202 40-ton Centurion with a recline driver position and mantleless gun mounting. Design Chieftain design included a heavily sloped hull and turret which greatly increased the effective thickness of the frontal armor, 388mm on the glacis, and 390mm on the turret. It had a manaltus turret in order to take full advantage of reclining the vehicle up to 10 degrees in a hull-down position. For security reasons, early prototypes had a canvas screen covering the mantlet and a sheet metal box mounted over the sloping glasses plate to disguise the configuration of the vehicle. The driver lay semi-recumbent in the hull when his hatch was closed down, which helped to reduce the profile of the forward glasses plate. The commander, gunner and loader were situated in the turret. To the left side of the turret was a large searchlight with infrared capability in an armored housing. The Leyland L60 engine is a two-stroke opposed piston design intended for multi-fuel use so that it could run on whatever fuel was available. In practice the engine did not deliver the expected power, and was unreliable.
estimated to have a 90% breakdown rate, but improvements were introduced to address this. Primary problems included, cylinder liner failure, fan drive problems and perpetual leaks due to vibration and badly routed pipe work. However, as the engine power improved the tank itself became heavier. The tank was steered by conventional tillers hydraulically actuating onto external brake discs. The discs worked via the epicyclic gearbox providing regenerative steering. The gearbox was operated motorcycle style with a kick-up kick-down peg on the left which actuated electro-hydraulic units in the gearbox. The accelerator was cable operated by the right foot. In the turret the loader was on the left and the gunner on the right of the gun with the commander behind the gunner. The suspension was of the horseman bogey type, with large side plates to protect the tracks and provide standoff protection from hollow charge attack. The main armament was the 120mm L11A5 rifled gun. This differed from most contemporary main tank armament as it used projectiles and charges which were loaded separately, as opposed to a single fixed round. The charges were encased in combustible bags. Other tank guns, such as on the Conqueror, needed to store the spent shell cartridges or eject them outside. The combustible charges were stored in 36 recesses surrounded by a pressurized water glycol mixture, so-called wet stowage. In the event of a hit which penetrated the fighting compartment, the jacket would rupture, soaking the charges and preventing a catastrophic propellant explosion. As there was no shell case, the firing of the charge was by vent tubes automatically loaded from a magazine on the breech. Due to the length of the gun which required balancing and the need for storage space, the turret has a large overhang to the rear. This contains radios, ammunition, fire control equipment and has further stowage externally. The gun could fire a wide range of ammunition, but the most commonly loaded types were high explosive squash head, armor piercing discarding sabot, or practice round equivalents for both types. Chieftain could store up to 64 projectiles. The gun was fully stabilized with a fully computerized integrated control system. The secondary armament consisted of a coaxial L8A1 7.62mm machine gun, and another 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola. Chieftain had an NBC protection system, which Centurion lacked. The initial fire control system was the Marconi FEGCEMK4. A .50 inch ranging gun was mounted above the main gun. This fired ranging shots out to a maximum of 2,600 yards, at which point the tracer in the ranging rounds burned out. The tank commander had a rotating cupola with nine vision blocks giving all round view, and a periscope, plus the 7.62 mm machine gun and an infrared projector coaxial with a weapon. The aiming systems were provided for both gunner and tank commander. They had 1x or 8x selectable magnification power, and they were replaceable with IR vision systems for the night operations. The commander could rotate his cupola to bring his sight onto a target and then engage the mechanism that brought the turret round onto the correct bearing so that the gunner could complete the aiming. The left side of the turret had a large searchlight with an infrared filter inside an armored box, with a relatively long range a Euro up to 1 a Euro 1.5 kilometers. From the beginning of the 1970s, the MK3 3rds version replaced the ranging gun with a bar and Stroud Loaf 2 laser rangefinder with a 10 km range. This allowed engagements at much longer ranges, and also could be linked to the fire control system, allowing more rapid engagements and changes of target. On later models fire control was provided by the Marconi IFCS, using a digital ballistic computer. The upgrade was not finished until the end of 1980, when some examples had the IR searchlight replaced with TOGS. Many later examples had still blue armor, meant to face Soviet 125 on tank guns and heavy anti-tank missiles. These became the Mark 13 version. Service. Like its European competitors, Chieftain found a large export market in the Middle East, but unlike Centurion, it was not adopted by any other NATO or Commonwealth countries. Chieftain proved itself capable in combat and able to be upgraded with enhancements both for overall improvement and to meet local requirements. 
the Mark was continuously upgraded until the early 1990s when it was replaced by Challenger 1. The final chieftain version used by the British Army until 1995, incorporated Still Brew armor named after Colonel Still and John Brewer from the military vehicles and engineering establishment, the improved fire control system and the thermal observation gunnery site. The first model was introduced in 1967. Chieftain was supplied to at least six countries, including Iran, Kuwait, Oman and Jordan. An agreement for sales to Israel and local production was cancelled by the British government in 1969, despite considerable Israeli technical and tactical input into the development of the tank, especially in desert environments, and the use of hull down to maximum effect in the final design. Two examples were delivered to and extensively trialed by the Israeli Armored Corps. This experience spurred the creation of the indigenous Israeli Merkava, the development program of which was led by General Israel Tal, who had worked closely with the British in the Anglo-Israeli Chieftain project. The largest foreign sale was to Iran, which at the recommendation of General Tal, took delivery of 707 Mk3P and Mk5P, 125 a Euro 189 FV 4030 1, 41 ARV and 14 AVLB before the 1979 revolution. Further planned deliveries of the more capable 4030 series were cancelled at that point. The tank was heavily used during the Iron Euro Iraq War of 1980 88 with mixed results, engine breakdowns being a common issue. Chieftains participated in the biggest tank battle of the war in early 1981. Iran lost 200 Chieftain and M60A1 tanks in battle. In return, Iraq lost 50 T62 tanks. Only 60 Chieftains managed to survive the war with Iraq. Kuwaiti Chieftains participated in the 1990 Iraq Euro Kuwait War. The Kuwaiti 35th Armored Brigade fought at the Battle of the Bridges against elements of the Iraqi Hammurabi and Medina divisions before withdrawing over the Saudi border 136 tanks were captured by Iraq. Only seven tanks managed to survive the war with Iraq. Media, a chieftain MK5 being driven on Salisbury Plain appears on the cover of the 1971 Urea Heap album Salisbury, specifications, crew, fall, combat weight. 55 tons, overall length, 10.8 am gun forward, hull length, 7.5 am, height, 2.9 am, width, 3.5 am, power plant, Leyland L6695 or BHP, range, 500 km, maximum road speed, 48 km per hour, cross country speed, 30 km per hour, armor, turret front, 195 MRHA. Armament, 120mm L11A5 rifled tank gun, rate of fire, 10 rounds per minute for the first minute and 6 thereafter. Elevation, minus 10 to plus 20 degree, laser range finder. Coaxial L8A17.62 on machine gun, cupola mounted L37A17.62 mm machine gun. Mark I and Mark II models had a coaxial Browning point 0.50 inch ranging machine guns prior to the introduction of the laser range finder. Equipment Twin Klansman VRC 353 VHF radio sets, 1C42 1B47 Larkspur VHF radios, 2X6 barrel smoke discharges on turret, bulldozer blade, variants, Chieftain MK1. 40 training vehicles for 1965 a Euro 1966. Issued to 1RTR and 5RTR for troop trials. Chieftain MK2 A. First service model with 650 HP engine. Chieftain MK3. Extra equipment fitted giving rise to several submarks. New cupola. Chieftain MK5 A. Final production variant, with upgrades to the engine and NBC protection system. Chieftain MK6 9A, incremental upgrades to earlier marks of tanks, including addition of Klansman radios. Chieftain MK10 A, Mark 9 upgrade, addition of Stillbrew crew protection package to the turret front and turret ring. Chieftain MK11 A, Mark 10 upgrade, searchlight replaced with the thermal observation and gunnery system, manufactured by Barr and Stroud. Chieftain MK12 13 A, proposed further upgrades. 
cancelled when the Challenger 2 was introduced. Chieftain 900R, Chieftain with Cobham armor, FV4205 AVLB, Bridge Lane Vehicle, FV4204 ARV AVA, Armored Recovery Vehicle, Armored Recovery and Repair Vehicle. Chieftain AVRE, Armored Vehicle Royal Engineers, a British Army combat engineering variant used by the Royal Engineers. Chieftain Marksman, self-propelled anti-aircraft gun version, equipped with a Marksman twin gun turret. Chieftain Miniclear Era, Mine Clearing Development. Chieftain Sabria, Twin 30 MAA turret. Khalid Sherwana, Jordanian with a running gear of the Challenger 1. Basically this was a transition vehicle from the Chieftain to the Sher 2 which had been intended for Iran but was subsequently cancelled. The Sher 2 tanks became Challenger 1 tanks after reworking at ROF Leeds. The vehicle chassis comprised the front half of a Chieftain hull, Chieftain running gear and the rear of a 4030-2 chassis. This allowed the fitment in the engine bay of a Rolls-Royce CV-12 engine producing 1200 bhp at 2300 rpms. Weapon Carrier Sir, the Chieftain chassis was modified to mount air defense weapons and a 155 mm howitzer in various modifications. Shertua, Iranian variant. Visible external differences from Chieftain MK5 included a sloping rear hull, removal of the searchlight from the left turret area and storage baskets refitted, water channel removed from around driver's hatch on the glasses plate, modified light clusters also on the glasses plate, larger sight housing on commander's cupola. Mobara's tanker, Iranian upgraded version of Chieftain. Operators, Iran, 707 MK3P and MK5P, 125 a Euro 189 FV 4030 1, 41 ARV and 14 AVLB obtained before the 1979 revolution. Further planned deliveries of the more capable 4030 series were cancelled at that point. 100 in service as of 2005, a Jordan 274 Cali delivered between 1981 1985 plus 90 MK5 5 from Iraq 350 in service. Aman, 27 delivered 1981 a Euro 85. Former operators, a United Kingdom, used from 1965 to 1995. A Kuwait, 175 in 1976, 143 in 1989, 20 in 1995, 17 in storage in 2000. An Iraq, 50 to 75 tanks in service with Iraqi Army in 1990. Most upgraded to Khalid level with air conditioning for crew and reinforced armor and night vision. Israel, two delivered for the Joint Anglo-Israeli Developmental Project. In Israeli Armored Corps Service for Trials 1965-69. See also Centurion Tank, Merkava Tank, M60 Tank, T62, T72, T64 Approximate Soviet Equivalent, References, Notes Bibliography, Norman, Michael, AFV Profile No. 18 Chieftain and Leopard, Profile Publishinger, External Links, FAS.org, Chieftain Tank.